Hey, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in here, we're going to talk about algorithm, uh, the beginner of uh, algorithm using PHP now. So, without further ado, let's go to the, let's jump to the tutorial. Okay, this is uh, the first one we're going to have to make string. I'm going to name it str1, and I'm going to copy from the above. Just this and integer one is going to be just copy this one, okay? And the first one we're going to print it. Don't forget to close bracket uh, to uh, what is it? Close it after you declare it. And we're going to print using echo str for str one. I'm sorry, str one. Just use autocomplete to make uh, things more easier and more smooth. If you want to type all of it, uh, that's up to you, but I'm not recommended because in real life we just use autocomplete for yeah for more efficient. Okay, now let's check it. <coughs> okay, we have uh, as the hello world and also integer one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we're going to turn this into a string by uh, make uh, list str and we're going to okay let's continue in here we're going to make a race split no 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 just race split I'm going to say race split for str for the string and for just copy this one make sure it all same and we're going to copy this integer one integer one no no no, no. just using integer is good not integer one okay i'm sorry okay let's <sighs> happen right oh, i'm sorry is it no, 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 not splice, I think. So. I think it's oh, I'm sorry. Not a ray. Using STR, split. Not a ray, I'm sorry. Just got this one, and we're going to print this. Print R. This S the R and also in R mm, list the job. Okay. See? Oh I'm sorry. In here it say that mm, the integer one should call the integer one. Okay, we got it. And we're going to change the integer one in two mm, into integer because this is the string list of string into list of integer okay to do this we're going to say a map we're going to map every one of it and we're going to say okay we're going to say integer 4 and get the last one and this should be just uh, if we print it, it should be the same. We don't know what's the difference, but the difference is now is changed into a list. Now we're going to remove the duplicate by say the list integer is going to be array. It's going to be array unique, and we're going to say list integer and print this one okay and see we're going to be have one two three four five okay now we're going to make um if you see this uh, this is the index of zero index of two index of four index of six index of eight so uh basically array in php is just hash map okay uh now we're going to check the space 
by echoing whether the space inside here using array <coughs> using in array just say in array is there a space inside list str okay so we're going to print it if there is true you can you can have one uh, it's not <laughs> it's hidden because we don't give uh, enter in here see we got one and then we're going to check the we're going to make an index space I want the index of space you can say array search array. it's going to be search for space in Esther in list of string okay and we're going to just print it echo the text space and don't forget to give enter in the end okay let's see we have five now we're going to remove five you can just say unset hmm the list integer and uh, list string I'm going to remove the index in here okay and we're going to print the list as the, uh, the list of string in here just don't forget the dollar sign in front okay and then see we have hello world now we're going to turn string and turn listen to string just uh, print this and we're going to use implode implode uh, is the, the opposite of implode is explode you can change the string into list but uh, this, uh, we have to declare the separator in here we just uh, every single one is going to be list uh, and now how to use it is going to say this and don't forget to add enter in the end okay let's see see hello world uh, and for the swap uh, just unlucky we don't have a function in here we have to make it so it's going to be index 1 and index 2 and array okay it's going to say we're going to make a temporary function a temporary variable to get the array so we're going to change the index in array one to we're going to put it into into temporary and array one is going to be changed into array two okay and the array two is going to be changed into array one that we put in temporary okay i'm sorry now we're going to return the array okay to do this we're going to see there is four and six there is no five the five is space because we remove the space uh, if we change it into five it's going to uh, adding the space again to make this uh, to make what is it I want to swap between the uh, little O in it in here to W to to do this you just have to swap yeah, I'm sorry not global swap just swap this uh, 4 to 6 and we're going to give a list of a string and we're going to put it in the string and just print it print the string a uh, list of string and forget to give the closing bracket now nah. then see uh, it's supposed to be a uh, little o it's changed into w and we're going to make another list list two and i say list integer, integer one is going to be array of uh, six seven eight nine and ten 
and we're going to match it by using list integer I say array concan if I'm not mistaken um, just say array and okay merge um, merge of list integer and list integer one okay and we're going to bring the list integer and see the difference okay we have one two three four five six and till ten because the the original is only for five okay and if you see the what is it the the, the number is uh, rearranged because we, after we merge it will be rearranged by themselves in here you can see the zero is one the two is two the four is three but in here it's already being uh, reset and the last one we're going to uh, <coughs> not the last one but this is uh, also important we have to uh, make uh, what is it we, we can't uh, we cut the list into two this is very useful we can make count of list or maybe length of list it's just the same and we're going to say I'm going to say left it's going to be um, array splice array. just splice it from the okay we're going to use this string in here from the zero to mid one okay and the right one is going to be array splice uh, from the same array list string and we're going to make from the mid just make just say the mid to till the end and we're going to put in the left and the right just copy this one copy this one say left and I'm sorry say left and say right okay and going to check it what is it say hello what happened to the, the rest of it? Say mid two, mid two, okay. Ah, this is not supposed to be like this. Mm-hmm. Mm. Or you can say the last one is going to be count this. No. Okay, let us. Uh, so I'm sorry. There is a difference here. You're not using a ray splice, but rather a ray slice. Okay. If we use this, you can see. Hello and wood. That's a good start. And we're going to make a hash map. In here, we're going to say just as first hash map map is going to be array we want to first and two to maybe second and the third is going to be the okay that's done if you want to check or whether and in the key meaning the we're going to check um echo the Array key exists, I think. Key, okay. Exists. I'm going to say one inside the first hash map. Let's see. And don't forget to add the new line. See, one. If there is, uh, if we got it. And the other is we okay. And here we can say to get the value, you have to echo just 
push has map and say one. Don't forget to add new line in here and check if the the value in n so it's just same as an array so you can you can use in array same as we we track uh space in here so we're going to check whether the first is in or is it first has map can do the same thing in here okay there is one don't forget to add the new line that's going to be ugly if you don't use it see and the last one we're going to iterate the hash we're going to use it for each and first hash map as it has key and inside key it has value we're going to say val we're going to print echo i'm sorry what happened here we're going to use echo say the key is ASCII and we're going to have uh, the value is as well but don't forget to add a new line okay this is the end let's see okay that's good I'm sorry just add this to make sure it's not confusing Okay, that's all for now for the beginner of the algorithm. This is all you need for using AppHP as your base for do a lead code. Okay, thank you for now.